one of the most common questions I get about my smartwatch is quite simply why I bought it. The smartwatch is not offering that much functionality by themselves, and the supposed hassle of having to charge it every night or so, why pick one up in the first place? Well, let's take a look. My name is Stephen Potter, and here are 5 reasons to buy a smartwatch. So, let's get started with reason number 1, fitness tracking. Now, in all honesty, current smartwatches are a bit behind dedicated fitness wearables in this department, but you can still do a surprising amount. Most Android Wear watches and the Apple Watch come with an OK heart rate monitor and the ability to track steps more accurately than you might think. From this, you can get metrics on how many calories you've burned, how far you've run, and much more. Sure, it's not perfect, but for most people it would negate the need to buy an additional wearable for fitness tracking alone. Now for reason number 2, media controls. So yes, this isn't the world's most amazing feature, heck, it's built into quite a lot of headphones already, but it sure can be useful. Rather than having to pull out your phone every few minutes to adjust the volume or skip a track, you can simply lift up your watch and adjust it all from there. This probably isn't a huge deal if you've got your phone out and on a desk, but if you're on public transport, or really any other situation where getting your phone out might be somewhat inconvenient, it can be a lifesaver. All of this talk of music brings us on to reason number 3, music playback. For this, you'll need a pair of Bluetooth headphones, and either an Android Wear device or an Apple Watch. Simply pair up your headphones to your smartwatch, open up your music player of choice, and get listening. Now, if you've got your phone on you at all times, this feature may seem somewhat useless, but it's ideal for giving you a bit more freedom to work and tethered from your smartphone, and great for situations like running, where you don't necessarily want to carry your phone with you. Reason number 4 is probably the biggest reason for picking up a modern smartwatch, notifications on your wrist. It's also probably the most controversial, with many people simply responding to it by saying that you might as well just go through the tiny effort of taking your phone out of your pocket rather than paying upwards of £100 for a smartwatch. But the truth of the matter is that wrist access is considerably faster and more convenient, and can, much like media playback, be very handy in certain situations. With Android Wear now supporting notifications over Wi-Fi, you can leave your phone practically anywhere and still get updates on your watch. And glancing at your wrist to see whether that notification you just received is extremely important, or yet another piece of spam is generally much less intrusive than pulling out a phone to do the same task. Let's get on to reason number 5, apps. Most apps on smartwatches have been fairly clunky, with interfaces and loading times that would generally lead you to just pull out a phone, but there are a few gems out there. Google Maps, for example, can be a great help if you're walking along and want to check where you are at a glance. Google Keep is also great when paired with Android Wear's new Always On Apps feature to allow you to see items such as shopping lists with barely any effort. And Decider is a great stand-in for a coin flip. Smartwatch apps are always going to be somewhat more limited than their smartphone counterparts, and you needn't look further than VideoTube, a YouTube client for Android Wear, to see why. The tiny screen size and limited performance will provide you with a less than ideal experience for attempting to do quite a lot of tasks. But if you can find those few applications that really do work well on this platform, they can be genuinely useful. Smartwatches may have had a hard time being adopted by the general public. For the most part, they are companion devices and don't necessarily offer that much more on their own. But with more and more manufacturers getting on board, and both the hardware and software constantly improving, they should hopefully get a lot easier to justify in the near future. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, then feel free to give it a dislike. If you have a question or some more detailed feedback, then leave that in the comment section. And if you'd like to see more of these videos, make sure you click the subscribe button below.